Weidauch HW100 vs. Weidauch HW110. Base State Red Wolf Heritage Huben K1 at the Shooting Range. Steyr Pro X. Servus, thanks for dropping in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Servus, thanks for dropping in. Today I want to answer a very common question. What are the differences and similarities between the Weidauch HW100 and the HW110? Both rifles differ in their prices, while the synthetic HW110 starts around 800 Euro in Germany, the HW100 starts with around 1100 Euro. But where does this difference come from and why are there two different models and which model fits which type of shooter? That's what I'm trying to explain today by simply comparing both rifles with each other. The Weidauch HW100 has been around for many years, but it got a remaster in 2020. What you're seeing here is the 2020 model and I already released a dedicated review. So if you want to see this rifle's shooting performance, the crony test and the trigger test and so on, just watch my Weidauch HW100 2020 video. You will of course find it on YouTube and at ergandi.de slash en. Just search for HW100 2020 and you'll find it. The HW110 was released in 2016. So overall it is the newer model, which even got a stock update. You can buy it with a synthetic stock or, how I love it the most, with this gray plywood stock with a thumb hole. For better comparison, I also chose the HW100 with thumb hole stock. You can get it in a ton of different versions. For example, a green special edition I reviewed already. You can have an uh, adaptable cheek piece. There's an S version, that's the regular grip. The T version is the thumb hole stock. And that's important. You can have both models as K version. K so a TK or SK always means carbine at Weirauch, so it's the short version. Today I have both long versions here. Long version means it's a 410 millimeter barrel on both guns. The HW100 and 110 are both using the exact same barrel. 410 millimeter in the regular version and 310 millimeter in the short version, the carbine. For all shooters outside of Germany or with a Waffenbesitzkarte, both rifles also come as FAC versions. FAC means they come with full power. Both models then have a 600 mm barrel. You can get the HW100 with up to 50 Joule, the HW110 with up to 41 Joule. If you want to see how a 50 Joule HW100 performs, I recommend my English YouTube channel, this one, Air Gandhi World. I went shooting the 50 Joule HW100 on the shooting range and yes, there's power in it. <laughs> this is uh, not meant to lower the great performance of these models here, but if you want to shoot greater distances, you can have fun with the strong ones. But they come with uh, caliber 5.5, while the two models I'm showing today are caliber 4.5. Okay, I'm trying to always place these two so you can get a good look at them. Now, for the start, let's look at the technical data. Right away, you can see one difference. The HW100 has a roundabout 5 centimeters longer stock than the HW110. We will have a closer look at the systems later and even uh, disassemble it. If you 
compare the HW110 with the short version of the HW100, they have almost the same length. Talking about the weight, they are only 200 grams apart. The HW100 is around 200 gram heavier than the HW110. What both have in common, I'm showing it here, right here where I removed it before, both weapons had a, a muscle break when they were delivered. But yeah, there are other sets, of course. Under it, you can see a 20 millimeter half inch UNF thread. This is the same for all Weidauch rifles. So if you want to use a silencer, half inch UNF, and you have to make sure that the silencer is built to hold a 20 millimeter thread. Next topic, the cartridge. Here's the first major difference. The HW100 comes with two different filling options, the 1 8 quick fill and the 5 8 adapter by removing the cartridge. The HW110 exclusively has the quick fill option because on the HW100 you, you can change the cartridge, on the HW110 it is glued to the system. This is one major difference here. Another difference is in the system. The system of the HW110 is made of a ballistic polymer, meaning it is one synthetic block. The system of the HW100 is made of metal and consists of two blocks that are connected with each other. Let's have a look at that. I'm just disassembling it. It's super easy on both guns. Just use a four millimeter, I think it's four, yes, four millimeter hex wrench and you can open it up. Just putting it here, probably not perfect for the camera, but I'll show you in a second. Next we disassemble the HW110, same here, 4 mm hex wrench, 2 screws, And, and now you see the different systems. You can see the two connected parts down here and up here a one piece synthetic system. And right away you can see another difference, the trigger. We have completely different trigger systems. The HW100 is the uh, from my point of view, a slightly better match trigger. Both are dually adaptable. Here we have a metal trigger blade. Up there, it's also synthetic. Still, I have to stress that we are comparing on the highest level. For hobby shooting, the Weidhoff triggers are some of the best you can find anywhere. Now you could look at it for a while. I'd say I'll rebuild the guns before we move on. And that was number two. Okay, wrench be gone. Next topic, repeating lever. On the HW100 we have a synthetic repeating lever, which is uh, slightly rolling the form. The HW110 has a metal repeating lever. 
Since the uh, 2020 version, it has a hole where you can adapt the biathlon lever, which comes in the box. I have to admit that this is an advantage for the HW100 because it has a nice grip and you can repeat really good with it. You just find it easier, even if the grip surface is, is, is bigger over here. Um, the, the biathlon add-on really makes the difference. We are moving on with how scopes can be mounted. You can see the Picatinny rail here, right out of the box. The HW100 comes with options. You decide. You can go with the Picat um, prism rail <laughs> or you use the Picatinny rail. That's also in the box, which you just attach and then you can use Picatinny mounts. One important notice, don't screw in the back screw of the Picatinny rail too deep because then you won't be able to repeat anymore. It happened to me before. <laughs> now for the safety, while the HW100 has the safety exclusively on the right, not on the left, the HW110 has the safety on the right and on the left. They also have different magazines. I'm removing the magazine, so I pull the repeating lever back. Then I have to push the magazine safety back. And now I can remove the magazine sideways. It's slightly different with the HW100. I also pull the lever back. But then I just push this little button up and can now remove the magazine. It's a little clunky when I try to make it visible for the cam. <laughs> yeah. But now you see, the magazines are different, so you cannot switch between them. The HW100 has a 14-shot magazine, the HW110 has a 10-shot magazine. This 10-shot magazine is the same as uh, in the HW44. Both magazines are super high quality, no doubt about it, so either way you get something great. If you decide to go and shoot competitive, normally, there are always exceptions, but normally you have to shoot with a single shot magazine. The HW100 has an optional single shot magazine you can buy. I don't know of one for the HW110, maybe I just missed it. Feel free to Google it. From my knowledge base, if you want to go competitive, you need the HW100. So let's sum it all up. Metal system, cartridge changeable, 14 shot magazine, biathlon repeater, Picatinny rail or 11 mm prism rail. Cartridge not changeable, 10 shot magazine, safety on both sides, Picatinny rail, system made of ballistic polymer. These are the major distances, uh, differences between both rifles, which are reflected in the prices. It doesn't matter if you choose the one or the other, you have an extraordinary rifle in its price segment. There will be no shooting test today, because probably a single heartbeat will decide if the advantage is on the 110 or the 100. I'm, I'm just sending you to both reviews I made. You will find them at ergandi.de slash en and of course on YouTube. Watch them both. You'll see both are super precise. I don't see a difference there. I was afraid comparing them directly. I'm, I'm shaking one time and suddenly the other gun looks like the big winner. That's not what I wanted. So yeah, no shooting test today. Now you know the differences and you can decide for yourself if the HW110 is the rifle for you or if you need the HW100. I hope I didn't forget anything. At least that's all I could find. 
If I forgot something, just leave a comment right under the video or my blog post or send an email to shop at yabolo.de. If you have any questions, you get all the equipment, including the rifles in my shop, www.yabolo.de. I would be happy if you pay us a visit. If you buy something, just leave a rating. It helps other shooters and me. As always, a big thanks to all of you. See you again next week. Ciao, servus, says Egandi.